On this week's episode of Espressos with Entrepreneurs, I'm going rogue. Jeremy's out of town on his honeymoon, and when the cat's away, the mice will play. The mouse will play. It's, it's just me, so... <laughs> Well, welcome back to Espressos with Entrepreneurs. I'm your humble host, Alan Bunn, owner of Lone Wolf Video. And this is not Jeremy Harris, not owner of Reverb Coffee Company. This is actually just a black and white Xerox photocopy of his face that I got my friend here, who you'll never know who he is, it's, it's a secret, uh, to pose as Jeremy, because I miss him. He's been gone for a few days now, and you know, it's sad. But he got married, so that's awesome. So, you know, give him a little congrats in the comment section below. And uh, anyway, so I'm here because, you know, we can't go another week without espressos of entrepreneurs. We, uh, we've missed a couple weeks and I, I feel bad. I feel like we've let you down. So I went back in the vault. We actually have an espresso's vault um, somewhere that, you know, undisclosed location. I went back in there, dusted off the cobwebs and found our unaired pilot. If you've paid attention to the introduction of each of these episodes, there's a little piece where Jeremy and I are wearing stuff that we haven't worn in any of the episodes you've seen yet. We're doing things that may not you know, strike a bell if you've actually watched all the episodes. Well, that's uh, on purpose. We actually shot an episode that just didn't really work. It was too long. There was a lot of little gaps. And we were just trying to figure out how this was going to work, figure out setting up the cameras, the audio, and everything. Um, but I went back. I found about five minutes of kind of funny stuff, pasted it together and thought, hey, what the heck, I'll show it to the viewers, waste not, want not. So um, that's what we're going to do today. That's what I'm about to send you off to. So I hope you enjoy this, the unaired pilot of Espressos with Entrepreneurs. Well, we want to welcome you to Espresso with Entrepreneurs and give you a little info as to what, what we aspire this little webcast to be. We don't want it to be formal or anything too structured. We just want to have a forum for conversation and comedic relief or thoughtful ideas anything that is going on in Memphis or the surrounding areas and we feel entrepreneurs should be involved with or normal people should be involved with we'll we'll talk about it and hopefully make you laugh a few times yeah I'd say if nothing else that you'll get a um, small glimpse of a day in the life of a young aspiring businessman we're women, but we're both men, so <laughs> that will, we'll have to have guests for that. Yeah. So, um, I guess we can talk about the names that we thought of. I thought of one a minute ago, Mocha with Memphians. Some of the ones we talked about were more if we were to fail. Um, yes. I was trying to think. French Press with Failures. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. I mean, it could be Coffee with Cranky Men. Lattes with Losers. That was one. Yeah. Fresh. Drips with Dummies. Yeah, or drips with dopes. Most of these names were um, negative. Yeah, Ristretto's with realists. Wow. It's the name for espresso. Wow. Short shot of espresso. Fancy. Yeah. Or was it? Iced coffee with idiots. I think that was one of them. Yeah, that's not very nice. Well, I mean, it was for both of us. Oh, okay. I guess we can call ourselves yeah. idiots. Cappuccinos with capitalists. Mm -hmm. Dolce de leche <laughs> with dreamers. <laughs> For our aspiring audience. Yeah. Bonehead baristas. Yeah. There we go. That could be our training channel when I need to train baristas. Yeah. Oh, your phone's ringing. You should know you should sign It's the first your... rule of when you make videos, turn your phone off. Oh, no. Answer it. No. It's Liam Neeson. Hello? Oops, I'm going through a tunnel. And that's how you get rid of a prank caller. <laughs> or not a prank caller, a telemarketer. telemarketer. I pranked called that telemarketer. <laughs> I got an email from someone called Credit Guy. I think that might be legitimate. I'm going to send him my social security number right now. And don't check emails on, on camera. The Seahawks just 
murdered the Broncos. Yeah, they you took... started that one. I was in a very unassuming <laughs> position, so we should probably start that one over. <laughs> How many? Or do you know what you want to talk about? Yeah, I think I got something. Well, then you should pick it up. No, you pick it up, and I'll read it off the freaking piece of paper, okay. Jeremy. <clears throat> and our first topic of conversation is... What motivated you to start your own business? Hmm. I started my business because I love good coffee and I thought that there was a void in the market in Memphis and it's also um, my dream. It was always a dream to start my own company and I never knew what it was going to be. Turns out it was coffee. So um, get to fulfill my dream and fill a void in the market and drink a lot of really good coffee which is a very good perk of the job. Pun intended. I think that was one of our alliteration things. Start the P, perk something. But I don't no. remember now what it was. Perk professionals. Perk and professionals. Percolating for the professionals. Per professionals. <laughs> Obviously, we don't pronounce our words very well. I feel like this episode needs to like be led in with a dictionary definition of alliteration because there's a common theme yes. among this episode of alliteration. Yes. Because we're not very original people. I've always liked video. I mean, we started making videos back in high school. Yeah. And even though we went to a small, little, you know, bitty school that didn't really have any type of film program or anything, so it was just kind of a little camera, and we just shot really cruddy little videos, but they were fun. First feature film was Fight Club. Yeah, it was, what, 15 seconds long, (laughs) and me rolling, barrel rolling very poorly across (laughs) the floor with a small baseball bat, and I think cracking you over the head with it. Yep. And maybe trying to strangle you. We were really violent. Trying to strangle. (laughs) Yeah, so... That was fun, and then we did some stuff uh, afterwards in a little church that we went to, and that was fun, and took some film classes in college, enjoyed that, and didn't do a whole lot after that, a couple friends' weddings shot, and just got to a point where I just wasn't finding a job I was crazy about, Um, and so I thought, well, what the heck, I got some equipment, I'll start making videos. Nice. So, yeah, it's nice to have that personal freedom. But you'd have to be motivated, and that's what, you know, it's still like every day, kind of the, the daily grind, the struggle, kind of, you know, getting up on time and doing things, because you don't have a set schedule, you have to be in the office at a certain time. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, there you go. There's the coffee cup of conversation. Until next time. Coffee cup. In the wolf video. <laughs> you know what's fun? What's that? Getting in a hit and run accident. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was the day that this idea was birthed. How well you can see that. That's the guy that hit us. He's in a little an old Dodge Dakota. Got a call from the police department. Apparently, they're gonna mail him a letter. So oh, that's watch your tax out. dollars at work. Whoa, watch out! It's gonna be a sternly worded letter saying, "Don't hit people and run again." There might be some legal jargon. Oh man. So. I'd have to have a latte with lawyers session to understand uh-huh. what that letter would say. So yeah, I slept better that night knowing that he would get a letter in the mail. <laughs> Car accidents with coffee. Okay, I guess that's it. All right, so that's it. That's the unaired pilot of Espresso's The Entrepreneurs. There may have been a little um, overlap in you know content with the first episode of the series if you watched it. If not, hey, you just learned why Jeremy and I decided to do what we do. Um, hopefully you got a couple laughs along the way. Uh, you learned a little bit about some um, titles we decided not to go with for the show. And the fact that Jeremy and I actually came up with this idea after getting in a hit and run accident. So that's exciting. And um, in the meantime, um, you know, we got another week till Jeremy gets back. Um, Like I said before, give him, you know, give him a congrats. Give him a, there you go. Good boy. Got married. He's all grown up now. Yeah, good job, Jeremy. And, uh, you know, go like us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, all those places we tell you about that we have little accounts set up. It's because we want to interact with you. We, We want you to say stuff to us and get to know you better. Um, Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so yet so that you can get uh, updates weekly on these episodes as they come out, because we try to keep them weekly, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. Enjoy a cup of Reverb Coffee, uh, just like this fictional cup that fake Jeremy is enjoying here. And um, until next time, uh, well, I'll do it since real Jeremy's not here. Don't take yourselves too seriously. All right, you're good now. All right, we got it. Put it down.